Hi, this is Tim Hill from Sonos. We're here at Cedia 2011. I'm here to show you Sonos and how it actually works. So a little bit of explanation first. Sonos allows you to actually distribute any digital music source, so whether it be iTunes library uh, music or internet radio from any inter internet radio station in the world that's streaming music, as well as a lot of your uh, streaming services such as Last.fm or Pandora uh, and many others like Spotify and Opio. So first of all, um, what we have here is our full family of products. Um, this is our controller called the CR200 that we manufacture. As you can see here on the main menu, you'll see all the various different music sources. And down here, we actually have um, other music sources as well as a line in. So if you wanted to plug a source directly into one of our players, you could access it this way. Um, what I'll show you first of all, though, is how to actually stream music to an individual room or up to multiple rooms. So you simply hit the home button here and you can see that we have three rooms of music connected to the system. So if I want to select the connect amp, which is attached to these speakers, I then go to my music source and you'll see connect amp here on the top. So I know that I'm streaming music to connect amp. If I want to go to a radio station. I like to go to uh, different areas of the world. So I'll scroll up and go to location. And let's go to Europe and say I want to listen to a station in Denmark. I'll pick Copenhagen since that's the major city. They'll probably have the most radio stations. And as you can see here, you'll actually have the station icon and then the station, the ID, and also what type of music or what type of uh, talk they're actually streaming. So if I want to play classical music, I hit classical music station there and I'll actually be playing that through our Connect Amp product. This is a 2 by 55 watt digital amp. It also has a subwoofer out. It's very efficient. It's great for in-wall speakers or bookshelf speakers, and you can also drive some small towers. It also has a subwoofer output for a powered subwoofer on the back of the unit. We'll flip this around here so you can see that. And here are your speaker leads, subwoofer out, and then you can also have a source in if you wish to. So. If I wanted to stream music to a different player, then I go back to home, and then on this particular unit, this is our all-in-one system, our best Play 5. This has five speakers, two tweeters, two mid-ranges, and a subwoofer with separate D-class amplifiers. I simply press the Play 5, I go to the uh, music menu, and then let's say that I want to go to Pandora Radio, and we'll just go to uh, one of these, DJ Tiesto, it's from Holland and I simply play that stream and there we have it. And you see how fast the response was, just a few seconds. Now suppose I want to actually stream D, uh, DJ Tiesto's music to every room in my house. I simply go to the home menu and then you see this button here that says zone group. You hit zone group and then you just start to touch each one. And those are all three rooms that we have connected to this particular controller. Then I hit done and it will now stream DJTS2 to, to all three rooms in the house. The maximum number of rooms that you can stream to with Sonos is 32 rooms, so anywhere from 1 to 32 rooms of music. You can control it all with our own controller, the CR200, or we have apps for an Android telephone, an iPod Touch, or an iPod, uh, or excuse me, an iPhone. And then we also have this beautiful landscape for your iPad. And these latter three that I mentioned are free. They're downloadable from our website. And what's nice about the iPad is you can actually see three different menus at once. Um, on the left here, left side here, you see the zone menus. These are the different rooms of music that we have connected to a different system. On the center column, you see actually what's playing. And what you see here in the queue is similar to a digital jukebox. So if I wanted to actually drag and drop music, I could drag music in here. Or say I was having a party at my house and I wanted to pass the iPad around and tell everyone, hey, pick three songs out of my iTunes library. You could simply do that and just have them drag and drop, pass the iPad around. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. This Sono system is great. It's really changing the behavior of the way people are listening to music. Um, with a plethora of streaming services that are available and more and more coming on board. People aren't buying music much, much more. They're really listening to digital files. And that's where Sonos comes in uh, for any residential 
application, also commercial applications. Uh, we have integrators that sell to restaurants, doctor's office, dentist's offices. Think about anywhere you listen to music. And it's a great product and it's very affordable. So after that quick review, um, I'll show you another interesting option that you have here. And that is, you see this little uh, dock. Um, what the dock does is a number of different things. First of all, it has a volume control on the side so you can quickly access volume. It also serves as a charger for your iPhone or your iPod. Uh, it also serves as an extender. So between the network players, if you're having trouble communicating between long distances, you can simply buy the dock for your customer and use it as an extender. Uh, and then the other great application is, suppose you have um, a music service that you like that's not in our music menu. You can actually download that particular service, may it be uh, MLB Baseball or Slacker, download the app to your iPhone or iPod Touch, simply launch it from here and connect it from the dock to the different players throughout your system. So it really leaves you with unlimited possibilities of music.